Hi, this is Kirk Hanna with a Basset Hounds Life and uh, BassetHoundsLife.com. Just want to make sure that everyone knows about our new free gifts that we have available for our readers. A couple of them, uh, one being a toolbar that you see there uh, right towards the top of your screen, that one right there. And uh, also we have a great screensaver made up of uh, beautiful, beautiful Basset Hound pictures. Just want to show you those two gifts and um, that way you'll know about what they are and if you want to download them or not. So we'll get started right away. Uh, you'll see here on the left hand side of the screen there is a button that says Basset Bar and that Basset Bar button, if you will, will take you straight to our blog that you see here in the rest of your screen. Um, the Basset Bar button is just more or less a link. Next to that you've got a search bar and that's just normal regular search bar give you results um, or whatever you type in and search for. Uh, next to that, oh, by the way, that's powered by Google. Uh, next to that is a uh, button that shows you some sites that have to do with Basset Hounds and some articles. Next to that are some uh, is a button that says feeds. The top one being Basset Hounds Life, the blog, um, shows you the feeds that you haven't read. Uh, below that uh, is are some uh, videos from YouTube. It's a stream uh, video. It's a feed, so it. Uh, as they come in that'll come into that feed reader and then finally some photographs of Basset Hounds from Photo Bucket. Next to the feeds button is a radio player, internet radio. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this but we'll try. Um, if I click on this button it shows you a list of radio stations. These towards the bottom are preset. Uh, if you want to add to that, let me move this over just to one more time. If you want to add to that um, list of stations, you have what's called My Stations. Uh, you can go up here to the Add Stations button, pick a radio station, it'll show up here and add, st add into uh, My Stations. So, anyway, that's a really n neat feature if you listen to the radio while you're surfing or working on the internet or on your computer, I should say. Uh, following that is an email notifier. This notifier will give you a graphic, a numerical I should say, indication of how many emails that you have not read and also it will give you an audible tone when you get a new email. So I like that, just it'll let me know that way I don't have to worry about looking every once in a while to see if I've got a new email. Uh, to the right of the email notifier is an indication of your weather locally, it's based on your IP address. Uh, and to the right of that are the shortcuts that you can put and they're, they're not limited to what you see there but um, they're shortcuts of Microsoft programs that you have installed that you're able to put into the the Basset Bar. And by the way the um, settings are all underneath um, this, this down arrow settings right here it brings you to a screen that will give you um, ability to add several accounts, email accounts into the notifier and then down here where it says toolbar options it takes you to another window that gives you a whole bunch of different options that you can set. You can take the, the weather forecaster off, the radio off uh, and, and the Microsoft shortcuts are underneath useful components. You can see you can uh, you can add lots of different buttons based on what you have installed on your computer. I just happen to have the calculator, Word, Excel, and Notepad because those are programs that I use on a regular basis. Um, so that's our toolbar. We think it's really exciting and I'll tell you for sure, at least for me, it's very useful. Now we're going to pause just a minute and I'm going to go over and show you our screensaver. So hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. Um, Obviously I'm not going to be able to show you the screensaver itself, but what I am going to show you are some of the beautiful photographs that we used in the composition of the screensaver. So what we've done is put together these into a very nice package that you can download right off the internet, install it, and pretty soon, as soon as your computer sets idle for just a little while, whatever you set it for, these pictures will pop up on your screen and I'm telling you this is one of the best screensavers I've ever seen especially about this topic uh, of Basset Hounds. So um, that's the other gift that we have for you. We've got some vintage photographs as you've seen there. We've got some funny photographs. we got some really good looking dogs um, uh, and some really nice photography. Uh, I love that picture right there. 
Um, so that's what we have available, folks. If you'd like to pop over to the blog, uh, it's bassethoundslife.com. Not a Basset Hounds Life, but just bassethoundslife.com. And look uh, under the category free stuff, and you'll find a link to the post that has the download uh, links there. And if you happen to be on the post watching this video, then you'll just look at the bottom of the post or near the bottom of the post and you'll see those links. We have a Firefox toolbar, we have an Internet Explorer toolbar, and then the screensaver is, is generic. It works on any Windows computer. So um, that's it. This is Kirk Hanna from A Basset Hounds Life, and look forward to talking to you real soon. Goodbye.